Why transformer work only on AC current and not on DC? Let's untangle in this video. First, let's understand how magnetic field induces electricity. Let's do the experiment we did in school. Put a magnet in front of a winding which is connected to a galvanometer. When the magnet is stationary, there is no electricity flowing in the circuit and hence no deflection of the needle of galvanometer. But when we move the magnet side by side, the electricity is induced in the winding and flow through the circuit and galvanometer shows that output. But what actually happens inside? Let's see. Free electrons in a conductor get attracted to the magnetic field. If the magnet is stationary, then the electrons remain in same position after attraction. But as you move the magnet side by side, the electrons try to follow the magnet and move in one direction. This directional flow of electrons is what we call as electricity. So to induce electricity, changing magnetic field is mandatory. Coming to transformers, if we put DC current in the primary winding, it will make a simple electromagnet with north and south pole on either sides. But as there are no moving parts in transformers to move the magnet we have made side by side as we did in experiment, it can only act like a simple stationary magnet. Hence, there is no change in magnetic field over time, meaning no electricity flow in secondary winding. Now as to make that happen, you have to continuously keep changing the magnetic field, but motion of primary winding to do so is not possible. But we are smart enough to find a solution for it. And that's changing the direction of flow of current continuously in primary winding. When current flows this way, then this side becomes north and this becomes south. Now if we change the direction of flow of current, then this side becomes north pole and this becomes south. So we get change in magnetic field by changing the direction of flow of current, which actually induces electricity in the secondary winding. Now to keep electricity flowing continuously in secondary winding, you have to continuously keep changing the direction of flow of current. And what's the easiest way of doing it? It is using alternating current. As alternating current flows in sine wave form, its direction of flow continuously changes. So by simply connecting the primary winding with AC supply, you get electricity flowing in secondary winding without any moving parts or requirement to swap terminals each time to change the direction of flow of current. That's why we use AC current in transformers and DC won't work. As simple as our school experiment. If you learn something new, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. Also make sure you hit the like button. If having any questions, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys next week.